Of course, the MyTouch 3G slide was rooted recently, and I've received a number of requests for a video tutorial on the process. So I thought I would try to do one of those screencasts like I did when I hacked my Nexus One. Um, we'll see how that works out. But uh, since we're hacking an Android today, I figure this is a good time for me to show you the t-shirt I got from Dion over at ExplodedAndy.com. It's American Apparel, and it's uh, pretty soft. And I don't know what the ink process was, but it feels like high quality work as well. Um, you can get the t-shirt or a poster with the same graphic for $19 at explodedandy.com. So thanks for that, Dion. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the prerequisites for this are, of course, a MyTouch 3G slide, USB cable, computer, um, the Android SDK has to be installed, and other than that, you just need some links for instructions and files, which I will include in this post at Droid Dog. If you're watching this at YouTube, click the link under the video so you can see the full Droid Dog post because it's going to be difficult without that. All right, so uh, let me get all my windows open here and we'll get started. But I, I guess I better take off my hat to get serious. So what I'm looking at on my screen here is a Google Chrome window with the XD, XDA developers thread. Um, with step-by-step -step instructions on rooting the phone, a terminal, and then just a finder. Um, now, if you're doing this on Windows, uh, everything's going to be the same, except for you won't have a dot forward slash in front of uh, at least one command, uh, maybe a couple. Linux users, it should be the same. Um, obviously, I'm doing it on a Mac here. Now, we're just rooting and installing a recovery image. I'm not going to flash a ROM. There are a couple available right now, but I'm just going to wait on that. Right now, all I want to do is just root the device. All right, step one, go to settings. Get into my settings here. Go to settings, applications, development, and check the box next to USB debugging. And that's gonna allow your computer to see the phone um, with ADB. Okay, now power off the slide. Okay, got an error that the disk was not ejected properly. I didn't think of that. All right, next step is download the package slide root.zip. And here it is on my desktop. Um, place the contents of slide root.zip into your Android SDK tools folder. So there's my SDK down in the finder here. And here's my tools folder. So I'm going to go ahead and extract slide root.zip. Yeah, so they want the contents of the slide root folder um, right in with ADB and all the other SDK tools. So I'm just going to drop them in there. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this stuff just to stay clean. Okay, now we need to CD into the SDK tools directory. So I'll CD in the terminal and get the folder. On Mac, you can just drag and drop it. Select the terminal again. Okay, so now we're in that folder. Power the slide into bootloader by holding down volume down and power button. So, um, you know, a lot of tutorials say just hold them both down. What I do is I hold down the volume button the whole time, press and release the power button while still holding down the volume button. That way you uh, can avoid some uh, normal boots when you're trying to get into recovery or the bootloader rather. Now run your loop file from the prompt. Either type loop in Windows or dot forward slash loop sh in a Nix-like machine, which is what a Mac is. All right, so after a little bit of fiddling around there, I discovered you have to have a different file on a Mac. Like I said, I haven't uh, run through this before, guys, so you're watching me learn. Uh, as I try it for the first time. So I'm back in my tools folder down here in the finder. I need to rename loop.bat, which is a Windows batch file, to loop.sh, and I have to change the contents. So I'm going to right click, open with text edit, and there will be a link to these instructions as well under the video at the post at Droid Dog here. So I found a uh, separate how to for Mac users. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take the text they tell me to replace this stuff with. Do that. Dot forward slash in front of ADB devices and save that and let's try it again. List of devices attached uh, but with nothing there so that's what we want. Uh, once your loop is running select recovery from the bootloader menu so I'm just gonna hit my volume key down to select recovery and then power is to enter that selection. When recovery loads you should have an on offline device. The slide screen will have a picture of a phone and a red triangle around an exclamation point. Don't freak out, this is a good thing. Hit Control C to stop your script and C. So Control C stops the script from looping. Now after trying this, I don't know how many times, dozens, uh, trying to get the phone to reboot into recovery and still keep showing in the terminal via ADB, I read a tip where somebody said, have uh, loop.sh in your terminal ready to go, and recovery selected from your bootloader menu, hit enter on the terminal a split second before you select recovery mode on the phone and it's more likely to take. Um, and that's what finally worked for me. And just to give you guys a quick sample of what that looks like, hopefully I'll be able to do it again here. Showing offline, showing recovery. So that's all there is to it. It's all about, uh, you know, hitting the two buttons very close together like that. So we can finally move on to the next step.